G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here, and today in this video we're talking about controlling your live video productions and live streams with Xbox controllers. vMix supports a lot of different devices for production control like keyboard and mouse, MIDI devices, stream decks, X keys, and of course Xbox controllers like I have here today. When developing vMix we thought, what kind of controllers might people have lying around? Now we realized that Xbox controllers work natively in Windows, so we thought it'd be a great idea to add support for them in vMix for switching cameras and doing all sorts of things in your live video productions. Now they are particularly handy for PTZ control in vMix as they have not one, but two joysticks that you can use for moving the camera and doing things like zooming. Now they also have a bunch of other options for buttons like around here, the A, B buttons. Uh, you have triggers and back buttons on the front of the controller. Uh, you have a pad here as well that you can use. You can also use these two buttons here. You can't use the Xbox button. Do not press that. Whatever you do, that will load up something else in Windows. Don't press that. And this button here, you can't use that either on the newer versions. Uh, the old versions didn't have that button there. So yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of different options. And so today I'm gonna to show you how you can move your cameras around, but also set up things for switching and doing overlays and that type of thing. Because there's only like one light on this, there's no support for activators on Xbox controllers. There's no way for vMix to send feedback to it. Uh, so activators aren't supported. You can just set up shortcuts. Now, before using the Xbox controller with vMix, make sure that it is plugged into your computer. Now, for this particular tutorial, I have an Xbox Series X controller plugged in via USB. So there's a USB-C port on the back, and I can use a cable to plug that directly into my computer. Now, we always recommend, whether it's for control or cameras or anything, if you can, to use a wired option over wireless. Now, these do support Bluetooth, so if your computer supported Bluetooth, you could pair it and you could connect it up to it. However, we would always recommend using a wired option with a vMix. It also works with Xbox One and Xbox 360 controllers. So this is a wired Xbox 360 controller that I plugged in via USB that I can also use if I wanted to as a controller. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at vMix. As you can see, I have a basic production here and I do have a PTZ camera hooked up. It's above me here and I'm gonna show you how we can set up shortcuts um, to control that and show you what these other buttons can do as well. All right, so let's go ahead and go up to our settings and take a look at our shortcuts. So we go to shortcuts down here. Now this screen here allows you to add, remove, edit your shortcuts. It'll display any shortcuts that you have available. Local shortcuts that are saved to your preset up here will appear bold. Those that are global presets that are saved to your vMix settings won't be bold like this one here. Uh, you've got categories up the top, down the bottom you've got add, edit, and that sort of thing. Usually I would show you how to add a shortcut first, but in this case, I'm gonna show you how to use the templates first to make it a whole lot easier for me and you. So I'm gonna click templates down here. Now on the side here, you'll notice that we have an Xbox controller option. So if you are looking to use this for PTZ control, you can apply this template to make it a lot easier for you to set up. So as you can see here, we have a lot of different options for the joystick already set up. So move left, move right, stop, uh, zoom in, zoom out, and that sort of thing attached to the second joystick. So we can easily have these set up so we don't have to do it individually in vMix. So I'm going to apply this, and then you'll notice that all of these shortcuts now appear on this screen. So these are all now global shortcuts, and they're all attached to the preview input. So if I move my camera to the preview, then these shortcuts will work. Now, if you wanted to change these, you would need to go through and edit them to maybe use a different input if you wanted to use the camera uh, specifically. Uh, if you wanted to save it as a local shortcut, you would then need to go down here and click OK when you were done. You have to do this for all of these. Um, you could add them one by one if you wanted to. So you would need to have move up, move down, move left, move right, and then have a stop for the center position like it is now. Uh, it will take you a little bit longer. Uh, but you could also then go through and just edit these one by one if you wanted to make it just a little bit quicker. So that's what we've got set up. Those are PTZ movements. I'm gonna click OK. And what I'm gonna do is just quickly show you what that looks like. So we use this for zoom, move out like so, this one, move it around. So this is actually upside down. Um, so the, the, the movements are backwards, uh, but that's because the camera is upside down. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's how you can set up that for those particular functions. You can go through that list to see exactly what it does. Now, um, what I'm going to do now is show you to set up some of these other buttons on the side here. So I'm gonna go back into settings and I'm gonna go, go down to shortcut. 
Now you can use this option up here, find, to see if you have any shortcuts on a particular button. And I think the A one is already programmed. So I'm gonna press the A key here, click OK, yes. And that has highlighted this A key here. So I'm going to just select it and I'm gonna actually do the one below it as well, which would be the B key. I'm gonna select it and I'm just going to remove those. So you can select them and then remove them. So now if I click find up here, I don't have it. I don't have a shortcut on that key anymore. All right, so now I'm going to click add, find, and I'm gonna press this key. Now I like to hold it down. As you see, it says button down. You can do it on release, but I'd prefer it to have it down. Click okay. And now we need to choose a function for it. So let's go ahead and choose uh, a transition. So I'm just going to do a cut to a camera, for example. We can, uh, don't need to worry about the duration because it's a cut. So let's go with this uh, winter video here. So we want to cut to this winter video. Underneath that, you'll see an assign shortcut to input number section. And if you tick this, it means that the shortcut follows around the input number. So this is number six. So no matter what's in number six, that's what the shortcut would work to. If I untick this, it means it follows the actual input. So if I moved winter to number 10 or number 20 in my production, it follows the actual input, which is how I like to set things up because I move things around quite a lot. Anyway, I can give it a title down here. So let's call this winter. We can give it a description, one and two. These need to be fairly short just due to the way that the uh, real estate is and the display for vMix. Uh, the display refers to the web controller display. So you can make the uh, shortcut. They have little panels that you can click on in the web controller and you can give them something to, to display. So a color image and a thumbnail if you wanted to. Down below, you can select this to be a local shortcut. And then finally, uh, show in web controller, which means you can see it in the web controller as a shortcut. So if you wanted to just put a few in there, you could set that up by ticking that there to make it maybe easier for things like volunteers to do simple uh, shortcuts and not have the hard ones in there. All right, so I'm gonna click OK down the bottom. As you can see, it now appears in the top of the list because it's a local preset shortcut and it's bold. So what I'm gonna do is go to OK here. Okay, so now when we press this A button on the controller, it's going to switch to this winter video here. So let's go ahead and do that. Switched it, and as you can see, it's moved over. All right, let's set up one of the other buttons now. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the settings, shortcuts, add a new shortcut, click find. And what I'm gonna do is press this little trigger at the back here, click okay. And what I'm gonna do is select an overlay function. Now, as you can see, we have hundreds of different options for shortcut functions. If you wanted to search for something, click all, and then type it in up the top. Uh, they're also broken down into categories here. And so what I'm going to do is overlay in channel one, I'm gonna overlay my title. So I'll select my title here, uh, and then just call this Tim. You don't have to give it a name, but that's up to you. Uh, I'm just gonna leave these the same. As you can see, I now have another local shortcut up here. So that's the Tim one uh, to overlay my title. Click okay. Now if I use the trigger around the back here, it's probably gonna be best if I actually pick this up. So I'm gonna pick this up, press the trigger as my title, off, on, off. So I've got that toggle to toggle my title when I press the trigger. Switch to the winter video, toggle off. So there we go. So yeah, it's entirely up to you how you program your Xbox controller. They're probably most handy for using the PTZ controls available in vMix 4K and Pro, uh, but they're also good for you know other things in vMix as well. You've got a lot of other buttons and handy if you've got a spare one lying around that you can use instead of your keyboard and mouse. So if you do have an Xbox controller lying around, plug it in, give it a whirl and see how you go with it. Now, if you do have any questions, don't forget to send us an email via the support page on vmix.com. So thanks for watching and we will stream you later. Congratulations on finishing a vMix YouTube video. Although it's just a few short minutes, the time we've spent together means a lot to us. If you'd like to spend some more quality time with us, feel free to subscribe to our channel. If you're into social media, look for vMix HD across all your favorite platforms.